Next up on the comedy side, please welcome Chris Putro up to the stage. Fuck Time Warner Cable. Yeah. Yeah. I sense a lot of you guys are on Time Warner. Usually I would wait for the guy to clear out here, but you know, we're running late today. Oh, uh, I actually like, sometimes I like having somebody here because, you know, the joke's Bob, you know, it's like, there's like a distraction. See, see this is cool. This is cool. If there's various things going on, you'll be distracted. No, I think I have some funny stuff. No, Time Warner Cable, guys, don't you? Know, some of you are on it. I, I can't stand when when, uh, when my internet goes out right when I've sat down to have a good porn wank. Because, you know, I, set, I I have a busy schedule. If I've already committed this portion of the night to have a wag, I can't really rearrange things on the fly. So I have to go through with it. But, you know, I'm trying to find, like, plan B, alternate material. Uh, so, like, I look at my temporary internet files to see if, like, there's an old one. All I can find is, is like, an old video from Monsters of Cop. Like, video, uh, a sample of video one of four where the girl meets Ramon, that creepy Cuban guy for the first time. She's not even naked yet. Oh, wow. Some of you guys know Ramon. Yeah. And then, uh, so now I'm frantic. I'm going through my bookcase. I find my uh, my high school yearbook and I'm paging through that. But then I remember I'm, I went to an all boys high school. But no, I'm thinking, I mean, some of these boys are like 14 years old, freshmen, they're kind of clean shaven. I'm thinking, you know, I don't know if it would be, be necessarily be gay. But anyway, uh, then. Uh, <laughs> Then I, uh, I'm going through my DVDs, and just at random I pop one in, and I pop in Jerry Maguire, and unfortunately I was able to finish myself off on that. Um, and I didn't really even feel gay about it, because that little kid with the glasses was pretty fucking adorable. Whoa. Hey now. Uh, I don't do as much pedophilia stuff as I used to. Maybe I can reintroduce that in there. Uh, let's talk about Gabrielle Giffords. Hey, somebody has to. I've already done, I've done jokes about her. Dude. Who's tuning a guitar while I'm trying to do my set? What the fuck? Who is that? Is that in here or outside? Oh, there we go. There we go. I got, I got you. Uh, you no, Gabrielle Guilford is uh, it's sort of a good, like she's recovering and everything and making amazing progress from this brain injury. Uh, in fact, I guess she went home to, uh, I think she went home today, she stood up and, and actually yesterday she was able to give her husband like a 10 minute neck, neck massage. Uh, so I guess she has, like, regaining some function. Uh, that's pretty cool she's coming back from that. In her latest story, uh, Zsa, Zsa Gabor apparently has recovered enough from her surgery that she was able to give her husband a stump job. Uh, and I only mentioned, I only made that joke because I, I, I haven't introduced you guys to a new sex, bizarre sexual term in a while. 2008, I came up with the utter fuck. 2009, it was the, the Optimum uh, taking a uterus cream pie. So I, I still owe you guys stuff. I went, I went O for 2010. I'm starting you guys off with the... Uh, uh, with the stump job. Uh, let me finish on this. I did this around the holidays, but Jason LaCour said it would work all year, so let's see if he was right. He's not here tonight, so I can't tease him if it doesn't work. Uh, but it will work. Uh, no, it's a thinker. This girl, and I was reading the local news in Philly, where I'm from, and this didn't really make it out here. This uh, teenage girl, follow the story here. This teenage girl uh, told the police that uh, she was abducted, blindfolded, driven to an unknown location, raped, and then driven back and dropped off. So of course, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to find the guy and everything. Turns out she comes clean the next day, she reveals that she made the whole story up, she was out with her boyfriend and didn't want her parents to find out. Uh, and I'm glad she came clean so early, because you know, usually, you know, innocent people start getting involved and you know, they arrest an innocent black guy, you know, random black guy. Uh, yes, thank you. I like it. That's three stars now, isn't it? Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm glad she came clean, because it, it you remember the most, probably the most famous case of, of this, when a girl didn't come clean, uh, teenage girl, similar thing, uh, she's actually engaged to a guy, she hadn't had sex with him yet, on the side she got knocked up by another guy, she doesn't want to get in trouble, so to cover this, you know, mysterious pregnancy, she comes up with this cockamamie story, get this, she told her, she told her fiancé that an angel of the Lord came unto her, told her she would be with child by the power of the Holy Spirit and would give birth to the Son of God. I mean, anybody with sense could see what she, she was lying about. But, uh, believe it or not, a lot of people to this day still believe that lie and it ended up ruining billions of lives. There's no real punchline for that joke. So I'm just, but I'm going to end on it anyway because uh, I sort of made this stuff up on the fly tonight. Uh, oh, you, yeah. you did like it. Thank you. Was the whole thing a score? Yeah. 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 Cool. Yeah. Should I put that video up? Yeah. Maybe. I'll put it up. All right. ChrisPoetro.com. You guys have been great. Thank you. Give it up for Chris Poetro.